What are the top eight headaches and deal breakers as a result of a home inspection? In this video, I'm gonna break that list down. My name is Matthew Strait from Strait Real Estate Solutions. Let's get started. Number one, the home inspector will always look at the boiler and furnace. And they're gonna specifically look for the most recent service card, which hopefully is hanging right above the boiler. If your boiler hasn't been serviced in the last year, you definitely wanna make that happen because the home inspector is gonna call it out. Number two, mold-like substance. Mold, unfortunately, is common in many of the homes in New England. And it's always best to get a flashlight, go up in your attic and your basement and look for mold. If you see mold, hire a licensed professional and take care of it before you list. Number three, bathrooms not being properly vented. I've been in a bunch of homes where the bathroom vents just go right up in the attic and not outside. This is a problem because it releases plenty of moisture in the attic and could potentially cause mold. Number four, unsafe water. If you have a private well, it's always best to get a water test before you sell. All types of issues can be found in water, like arsenic, bacteria, and metals. Number five, vermiculite. Vermiculite was a type of insulation used in the late 50s and 70s. Unfortunately, the insulation contained asbestos and it's extremely expensive to remove. If you have vermiculite, it's best to disclose. That way, you don't worry your buyer. Number six, radon. Radon is a natural occurring gas that can cause cancer. It's fairly easy to mitigate depending on the size of the home and the type of foundation you have. It ranges anywhere between $1,000 to $1,500 to put a mitigation system in. Number seven, termites. Termites can cause a lot of damage in the home, especially structural. Number eight, foundation issues. Bowing walls, cracks in the foundation, loose field stone. This is gonna scare any buyer and should be addressed before listing. For all things real estate, check us out at srshouses.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.